All right, so today we're going to talk about a new subject that has become my new focus, I guess. But first, let me go get a coffee. I'm good now. All right, so today we are going to talk about focus stacking. So the idea of focus stacking is really taking multiple shots, uh, most likely of a close up subject, but you could do that for landscape as well. And then we're going to take images with the point of focus at different distances. So we're going to vary from the nearest point to the farthest point so that we can get everything in focus. Now, you might say, well, just close down your aperture. And yeah, that would be true. Uh, but when you close down the aperture, let's say to F22, you will bring your subject in focus, but the background will be in focus as well. So it won't be isolated. So that's where focus stacking comes into play. So with all modern Fujifilm X-Series and GFX series cameras, you have a built-in bracketing mode, which is focus bracketing. So by enabling that into your camera, by simply adjusting your drive setting to bracketing and then selecting focus bracketing, and then going to the drive setting, and then you can choose manual so that you can manually set the number of images, the steps between each shots. But you also have an auto mode, which I personally prefer because I don't really have to think. I just set my in point, which is A, and then my out point, which is B. By manually rotating the focusing ring on the lens, I'm going to set my A and B distance, and then I'm just gonna hit the shutter, and then it will start firing away. Now, you might end up with too many images, but I'd rather have more and then maybe select, you know, every second images or every third images so that I have less to work with. If you have a powerful computer, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Now, needless to say that you should try to have your subject not moving because, you know, if, if it moves, then you might get some artifacts later on when you go and process the stacking. So we set up our camera on a tripod. That would be best. By the way, still possible to do handheld focus stacking, but we would be talking about maybe two or three images, but it's still possible. You can look at this image here. I took three shots and then blended them together, and then I have a focused insect. But let's stick to tripod, let's stick to simple. Now we bring all of our images into our computer, and then we have two options. So you can use a specialized piece of software that will do it for you, just like this one. But if you don't wanna go out and spend some more money on pieces of software, we can still do it with Lightroom and Photoshop. So we have our images in Lightroom. By the way, my tip is whenever you start a stack, you take one shot with your hand in the front of the lens so that you know where it starts. And when it ends, you take another one so you know the beginning and the end. So that brings me to Lightroom. I select all of my images from the first to the last one that I want to use, and I stack them together. That's just to keep it nice and organized. Now I'm going to unfold the stack. Now before I export them to Photoshop, I want to make all of the adjustment that I would like. So I'm going to select one image and then make my, you know, color grading and all that stuff. Ideally, that's when I like to do it. Select all of my images, right click and then edit in Photoshop as layers. So now that we're in Photoshop, all our images are open. I'm just going to select them all and then go in and auto align them. Now that that's done, I'm going to select them all again, and then I'm going to use auto blend, and then I'm gonna use stack images. Now I would recommend you use seamless tones and colors, and then I usually try the content aware, you know, fill for whenever there's movement, if you were shooting handheld or something. And then there you go, you have your final stack image, and then you can see the masks on the side, and then if you didn't move, if you were on a tripod and your subject was still, you shouldn't have any artifacts. And then we can go and just save it and that will automatically bring it into Lightroom for us to have in our collection. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed this quick video about focus stacking. This is certainly a really nice, fun thing to do. I like to go out in the forest and, you know, find some little subjects, composition, and then just focus stack. And then again, the key in the focus stacking is that you can isolate your subject while still having it all in focus without having the background distracting. And then also you can have everything tack sharp. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'm gonna go and shoot some more stacks.